welcome to my kitchen and it's Friday so it's family game night now we used to when the girls were younger do family game night all the time and we kind of got out of the habit and we decided we want to get back into it and it made me think see there's Molly and there's Micah there's Rick over there He's hiding <laughs> um we just I wanted to take a moment and I was thinking how important it is, you know, we're all about prepping. We talk about preparing for our nutritional needs. We talk about our food storage. We talk about our security, our water, our gardens, our abilities and our skills. Um, but we don't often think about fun. We don't often think about in the event that something should happen and we are thrust into some sort of situation where we do not have electricity or cell phones or the everyday conveniences that we are currently living with. Um, I have a massive collection of board games. I mean tons. This is just a very small sampling that I pulled out of Micah's closet. I have boxes and boxes of them in my storage. And I have every single Trivial Pursuit game they ever made in my um, in my hall closet and I love trivia that's one of my favorite things I love Scrabble and I love cards and I think it's really important you know to make sure that you have a good supply of nonfiction and fiction reading material things that you really enjoy doing um, learning about reading about and books that are your games. favorites what honey non-electronic non games Checkers, chess, Chinese checkers, Scrabble, Yahtzee, cards, we've got backgammon, we've got chess, we've got so many different things that we can choose from. And just the ability to come together and turn off the television and the computer and, <clears throat> and be a family. IPhone. And turn off your cell phone as well, teenagers. Uh, um, and, and you know, games are expensive. But they are not expensive if you buy them at yard sales. For instance, I got this backgammon game at a yard sale and it was brand new. And I think I actually have another one on the bookshelf and I think I paid a dollar for each of them. Okay? And they came in really nice cases. And the same with the Chinese checkers. I think I paid a buck for that. Um, the best way to do this is to go to the yard sales, make sure that the pieces are all there, and even if they're not, if you and if you find a couple of games and maybe marry them and you'll have all the pieces that you need. And one thing that you might not know is a lot of the game manufacturers like Milton Bradley and Parker Brothers, you can call them on their 800 number and they will provide you with replacement pieces for your games. You may have to pay a small amount or even pay some shipping or postage, but they will send you the pieces that you need so that you can continue to play those games. So I just wanted to touch on that because we always have this mindset and it's always so serious and it is serious. It is, is a serious topic, but I think we need to make room for a little bit of fun. And, um, and I think that that is what is going to keep us going and what is going to help us get through those hard times. You know, tonight we're sitting here with some milkshakes and some games. And I just wanted to touch on that and share that with you. And I think you all know this, but sometimes we forget about the fun. So get yourself some games, put them in your storage, um, and start a family game night if you're not already doing that. Start a family game night. You know, we have all these great conveniences now. Family game night can be something as simple as a game of cards, go fish, old maid, gin, rummy. It can be the Wii, you know, get in the living room and set up the Wii and move the coffee table out of the way and bowl or play tennis or just have fun together. It doesn't matter what it is. Be a family. And I think that's a really, really important thing to drive home. So that's where I'm going to leave you. I hope you try it. I hope you love it, and until next time, I'll see ya.